All right, everybody, welcome back to the number one TV show in the history of the universe. I am Brian Lee Durfee, author of <clears throat> The Forgetting Moon and The Blackest Heart, both books published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. Today I am here to review Ian Rankin's latest Rebus, Inspector Rebus novel, and it is called A Heart Full of Headstones. This is the um, Inspector Rebus novel number 24, I think. I mean, there's a lot of them. I got, I got the entire Inspector Rebus collection over here in my library. Right there is all of them. Um, I collect his Inspector Rebus books and also his Malcolm Fox series, which isn't, well, there's only about one or two books in that series. But anyway... Let's talk about this one. Let's go over the cover first, because you know we, uh, I love graphic design and cover illustration, so let's talk about the cover. I think it's pretty dope. It works for, a, you know, a, a mystery novel set in Edinburgh, Scotland. It's got, you know, your rainy, your rainy ground here, a reflection of a dude walking. Um, I'm, the dude is standing up here, and, uh, and then on the spine looks dope. And then, you know, of course, we've got a picture of our author on the back. Good job to the publisher. Um, looks like it was published by Little Brown. Now, um, what is Inspector Rebus about? Well, he's an inspector. He investigates murders in and around Scotland. Um, very gritty. These are really gritty thriller novels. Uh, I mean, this guy gets into the underbelly of parts of Scotland. I mean... Every single one of his novels sort of invokes that, um, just that, uh, the underbelly of some of those, like Edinburgh and Glasgow, and just how dirty and filthy and crime-ridden some of those neighborhoods can be. And then once in a while, he reach, he branches off into other parts of Scotland that aren't so bad, but where murders still take place. I mean, if you ever saw that movie Train Spotting, uh... And sort of the grim feel that that gave you about Scotland. That's kind of what uh, Inspector Rebus is about here. Um, anyhow, this book specifically is... Well, Rebus is an old guy now. I mean, how many adventures has he been through? And this series probably started sometime in the mid-80s or something like that. So Inspector Rebus, he's older now. And uh, he stands accused of a crime um, that could put him in prison for the rest of his life. So he's done something. Um, he took the law into his own hands. I'm not going to say what he did there, for spoiler reasons. And now the internal affairs folks are after him. Now the internal affairs people in the Scotland police force are called the complaints. And this is where Malcolm Fox series intertwines with the Reba series as Malcolm Fox is one of the officers in the complaints, or in other words, internal affairs. And so now he and Rebus have, in previous novels, have had a little back and forth. Um, but the internal affairs cops, nobody likes the internal affairs cops. Um, or the complaints. I actually, this series with Malcolm Fox, I actually kind of like it better than the Rebus books, and I wish he would write more in this series than the Rebus ones, but I can understand why, because the Rebus ones sell better. And plus, there's way more of them. But anyway, this book is sort of a combination of both, so we get both Rebus and Malcolm Fox in the series, in, in this book, uh, because one guy's investigating the other, and then we've also got Siobhan Clark, who is Rebus's best friend and partner in the investigative team. And um, so anyway, uh, that's the basic plot. Um, uh, there's a side plot where the police are also tasked with finding a, um, a different cop who's gone missing. And now this dude is, um, this dude that's gone missing, he clearly was a bad cop. I mean, he's got a decade's worth of, uh, misconduct on his file. And so there's that side plot. And then, um, just the whole thing kind of revolves around Rebus trying to navigate his own problems with the law, plus um, his own uh, 
the, the dysfunction of the police force. Um, then there's also he's 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 kind of put in the crosshairs of his own police force, the mobs, the mob, the crime lords of Edinburgh, and a whole bunch of other cast of uh, CD characters. And it's just a really good entry into or not entry. It's book number twenty four. I mean, you can read it as a standalone. Each one of the Rebus mysteries you can read as a standalone. However, they're more fun to read like I did where I started when the I started reading them when the series first kind of got off the ground and I've been buying them in every other year when they come out. But um, So I've been reading them in order of publication. I, that's how I would suggest you all read them. However, if you don't want to read 24 books in a row just to get to this one, you can pick any one of them up at any point in time and just open it up. And it's its, it's, its own mystery. It's, it's got its own beginning, middle, and end. Um, you get what I'm saying. I'm going to give this one, a, since it's a combination of two of my favorite mystery series, I'm going to give it a solid 9.5 out of 10. I always love Ian Rankin novels when they come out. They always go to the top of my reading list. So for A Heart Full of Headstones, book number 24 of the John Rebus mystery series, uh, or Inspector Rebus mystery series, I go ahead and, uh, you know, you, that's my review.